I paid $180 for these coilovers, and today we're going to install them and see if they're any good. Alright, we're going to unbox them right now. Sheesh. Got the $180 eBay coilovers. Alright, we made it about like 10 minutes before we realized we were missing all the tools. We need like an impact and a couple deep socket wrenches, so we're gonna go back to Dave's and get them. Alright, we got that off, so now we just gotta get these two bolts off. I've done it before, super easy, and then we should be able to pull a strut out. Three bolts to get a front strut out is insane. So we hit another speed bump. For some reason, you know, we were, we're saying we wouldn't expect this on an older car, but the nut to get this like rubber thing off, yeah, as you guys can see, it's like a little slot. So there's actually a special tool uh, that you need to get this, but I don't have that and I don't feel like waiting to get one. Uh, so Dave's gonna try and use a Dremel to take an old socket and see if we can sort of makeshift uh, one for our own. Look at how snug it is. Look at it. There you go. <laughs> we got the strut out. You guys can see this thing is really crusty. This is that weird nut that we had to make the uh, makeshift tool for. Now we got this top hat thing. We're gonna throw it onto the coilovers and then throw it back in the car. So all we have to do is just take the uh, adjustment up to like there. Okay. But at least we can slap it on like this for now. All right, cool. First bolt in, second bolt in, we got the nuts on that, so I'll thread them on. We should be all set. Like I said, we're not gonna be running these wheels. These are an old set I had. I mean, I could run them from time to time. Dude, these are the offset of your new wheels too. I think the, one, the new ones might be a little bit more aggressive. So we got the one corner in. We're gonna try and tackle the rears right now. Moment of truth. Six. There we Once go. You roll it forward and backwards too. It's gonna settle a little bit. Yeah, I totally yeah. forgot about that. The front's gonna be lower than that. Damn, dude, on these steelies, it's so low. The fronts look a little bit lower, but the rears also have a bigger sidewall. Dude, it's gonna go lower too. Once we just drive it out. Yeah. All right, let's clear some shit out so we can drive this up. All right, let's pull this thing out of the garage. Thirty minute round. 
round trip to your house making a tool. It sounds good though, like it sounds like the bushings aren't too worn. Because like that's all the that's shit. just a rattling from the back that we haven't fixed no, yet. No, but the car feels tight. Like yeah. usually when you do coilovers, you'll you'll hear every single bad bushing, like ball joint, everything, but yeah. it's actually tight. All right, now we're just gonna try and lower the rears a little bit, try and level out the rake, see how low we can go in the back. All right, we got the back lowered, so it's a lot better now, a lot more even. So once the new wheels come in, it'll look super good compared to how it did before. Yeah, you scrape less now. This thing is absolutely dumped, especially in the back. Yo, this has lower end. Is it? Yeah, Dave was just saying because of the beam suspension, like one of the sides pokes out a little bit more than the other. But man, this thing is low. Yeah, this is with the Steelys. We still have like eight wide wheels coming in. So we're gonna go take it for a spin, see if anything rubs. Probably will a little bit, but we can always raise the rear, especially if we really need to. All right, now we're just messing around with fitment uh, because these old wheels have a pretty similar offset and width to the new ones I'm getting. So they actually fit pretty well. The clearancing isn't too bad. And yeah, it looks good. Honestly, I sort of like the green and the white. Uh, like I said, I'm not really gonna keep it, but I guess in the future, I could always just rip the wrap off and throw these wheels on if I keep them. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw back the rear together. I already put this panel back in place. Now I just gotta do this one tightening back those 10 mil screws that I had before, and then we should be all set. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. As you guys can see, the car is absolutely dumped right now. Probably lowered it like two, three, maybe four inches. You should stay tuned for the whole build. Like I said, the wheels and tires are coming in very soon. We're gonna be wrapping the car as well. Make sure you like the video. Stay tuned for the rest of the build because this thing is gonna be awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.